Friends, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. We'll start uh, the Nebraska press conference with opening statement from Coach Williams. Go ahead, Coach. Uh, just so incredibly proud of this group. Um, really excited to, to continue to advance with them and to be playing in the championship game tomorrow. I know um, it's been well documented. It's been since 2014 since Nebraska has been back in our, to the championship game of the Big Ten tournament. So uh, we're excited and I couldn't be more pleased that this is the group that's taking us there. And um, just what an incredible performance from our entire team. We thought this whole tournament we've had people step up and make huge plays for us. But um, Jazz was really special today and it was just fun to, fun to, see, to, to sit and watch that. Thank you, Coach. We're going to start with questions for the student athletes. We're going to start in the second row and then here in the first row. Go ahead. Uh, Jazz, this is for you, averaging 22.7 assists in this tournament so far, but you've also played 116 minutes in three games, so you've only sat four minutes, so I know you're probably running on pure adrenaline right now, but having to play a fourth day in a row, um, what's your mindset and just re the recovery process, because you really haven't sat much? Yeah, we have pretty elite stuff, and I mean, I felt really good before this game, and there's no reason why I can't feel like that tomorrow. Um, we have all the resources possible, getting an ice bath after this, and we trained for this before the season even started, so I, I'm ready for it. Also, I've never seen Jazz Shelley get tired, so. <laughs> that is true. Question here in the front row. Hi, Sam, Jane Diamondback. Uh, Alexis, I wanted to ask it. Maryland was pretty aggressively fronting the post and you know, constantly kind of having that backside defender. Felt like that got you guys some open looks. Did you anticipate that going in? You know that that type of post defense they were playing, and, and how much do you think it opened up the shooters? Yeah, we knew that they were uh, most likely going to switch one through five. So with a guard, uh, it requires a lot of help from the backside, and um, I felt like we were making the right reads today, and um, just super proud of this team, our coaches. We worked so hard to get here, and um, I'm just really excited for tomorrow. Question over here in the front. Gavin Dorsey, Star Tribune. Um, Jazz, obviously a really strong first half, and then it seemed like they really started to key in on you in the third quarter. What happened there, and how did you break out of it in the fourth? Yeah, I think that they were pressuring me a lot, and then I started to get my assist game up. I think that um, I had a lot of attention towards me, and that made all the people open, um, and I wasn't uh, on my heat check <laughs> anymore. Kind of slowed that down and tried to work through the offense a little bit better. Question in the third row in the back. Jazz, you made those uh, three consecutive threes there in the final minute of the first quarter. Obviously, a lot of game left there, but what are, what are you thinking in that moment? Yeah, I think we just really needed to go in strong into that second half. Um, I don't know. I kind of went unconscious for a little bit. I was kind of feeling it, and I'm fortunate to have a coach that lets me shoot, so, shoot those sort of shots, so it was pretty cool to be able to do that. Question in the second row here. <laughs> For Lexa Callen, I mean, what was it like seeing Jazz go on that run there in the first quarter and just the first half overall? Unreal. Like, honestly, I was speechless. I think it was after her, like, third three, and I was just like, you're kidding me? Um, she, Jazz is just such a special player, and she's just been my, one of my favorite players I've ever played with, and um, she's just unreal and just everything for this team. So I think it just is a testament to Jazz's work work ethic you know she's the first in the gym the last to leave so her, her the sky is the limit for her and it's fun to just watch her succeed in this fifth year any last questions for the student athletes we'll go back over here again lex maryland had got it close there to start the fourth quarter and then you outscored them 18 to 9 in the fourth quarter what are you most proud about how you guys played and approached that fourth quarter you know this whole tournament i feel like We've had different players step up. Um, with me being in foul trouble today, I felt like Ani Stewart contributed huge today. Kendall Coley hit big shots. Um, and that's why this team is so fun to watch because you never know who is going to step up in the big moments. And I just felt like everyone really contributed today. All right, we'll go right here in the front and that front row and then mm -hmm. second row. And that'll be the last question for the student athletes. For any of you guys, I mean, I know you guys put up a ton of threes and, um, you know, s still somewhat, you know, middle of the pack in the Big Ten and making them. 
when shots aren't falling in the third quarter and, and then they are falling in the in the first half, obviously, how do you make sure that you don't get too over reliant on the three, but also like that's your game, like that's yeah. what you guys do. I think at the start of the season we weren't doing very good at that and we were jacking up threes even though we weren't making them and it's been a point of emphasis um, now that we have a pretty good feel. If we're making threes, let's keep going to it. We know who the hot hand is um, and if not, we need paint touches and we need to get inside, outside touches. Um, so I think we have a better feel on that right now. Last question, second row here. Uh, Callan, you've played really well in this tournament, uh, taking a ton of charges. Um, you know, what have, what's kind of allowed you to improve defensively just over the course of your two years? Yeah, absolutely. I think just my work ethic, I think, is a big testament, but I also understand that I'm a spark player and I'm an energy giver to this team. And my favorite thing to do is take a charge. I think that infuses our team, and I'm willing to lay my body on the line for this team. And so, yeah. Thank you. Student athletes, you can head back to the locker room. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First question for Coach Williams here in the front and then the second row. Hey, I mean, Kareem Copeland, Washington Post. Um, you know, we've talked a lot about Jazz's um, first quarter and, and big shots throughout, but down the stretch, she snuck in and got that offensive rebound real late and then hit that runner on the left-hand side. What are, what are those smaller moments uh, mean for this team? Yeah, well, uh, I've been saying this for a while, but uh, Jazz Shelley, you know, she is a very capable scorer, but she just does so much more for our team. She... Um, she's probably our best perimeter defender. We utilize her to guard the other team's best players. A lot of teams will take their best offensive threat and, and make sure that they're not going to get into foul trouble or you know, put them on um, you know, players that they know they can maybe rest on one side of the ball. But we don't allow Jess to do that. We're asking her to do so much for our team. I think she's matured so much, um, just learning how to – impact games, whether she's scoring, whether she's assisting, whether she's rebounding, whether she's defending. Um, how can I help our team win basketball games? And that versatility is just what makes her special. Next question, second row. I know you talked about how proud you are for your team, but how proud are you for yourself? You know, you came here in 2016, you guys won seven games, and now look, you guys here now playing for a Big Ten tournament title. What does it mean for yourself to know the growth and the process is paying off? Um, to be honest, I can't even really think about that. And my, my brain just immediately goes right back to the special young women that have just poured their heart and soul into making this happen. I have the most amazing coaching staff in the country, and they work really, really hard for um, this team and to this program and to pour into every one of our um, young women and so it's very rewarding for us to watch them uh, putting that Nebraska advancing in the tournament and and to be living their dreams question here in the front coach you guys you know talked with them about it the the shooting performance I think was obviously the difference do you felt like you know that's a the, the first half was a sustained success like method or did you want to like pound it inside more or just kind of keep it going with jazz and, and the three-point shooting to be honest with you, um, our emphasis is always on balance scoring attack. How can we have balance? Can we get paint touches? We have an outstanding, one of the best players in the country anchoring us inside in the paint. So to sit there and, and not capitalize on that and not emphasize how can we get paint touches, how can we get Lex touches inside, how can we go in. Um, but she commands so much attention down there that it creates some opportunities for the rest of our team. And, and um, inside, outside opportunities, we know we're better perimeter shooting when the ball has gotten a paint touch first and so that's something that uh, we look to do now we can get on heaters and and you know come down and without a paint touch you know have good looks for our team still but um, I feel like um, for us we're going to continue to emphasize that balanced scoring attack question here in the front I want to ask about the perimeter defense um, you guys pretty much took away the arc from them, especially uh, Brene Alexander, who had just hit like five yesterday. Um, how did you guys approach that and try to limit them um, from, from them from scoring on the outside? 
Yeah, and she still got loose there for a couple of threes in the in the late late in the game, and so we had to kind of switch some things up to try to kind of chase her around a little bit and try to lock that up once she felt it and saw two threes go in there late in the game. But I think um, our team is pretty good about being able to uh, mentally lock into defensive personnel and game plan and and what we need to do. Um, so I thought they did a great job just knowing that she's been. She's been on fire in this tournament. She's been on fire lately, and that we needed to have our left hand in her right pocket for most of the game. Any final question for Coach Williams? All right, thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys.